Uh, on the subject of Duncan, uh, Dr. O'Neill, would you consider yourself to be the most powerful dunker of all time? Of course. <laughs> with with Ooh, no hesitation? No, who no else, hesitation. Who else would Ooh. be in the conversation? Sean Kemp. Yeah. Daryl Dawkins. Yeah, Daryl Dawkins. Dawkins. Yeah. You and Daryl Dawkins broke backboards, so. Who else? I, I, well, I, no, I don't, well, first of all, Daryl Dawkins broke backboards. Yeah, he, he broke backboards too. No, he it collapsed, didn't it? Well, that same no, but he, he, no, know. he did both. He's, he's broken back. He started running. <laughs> he's <laughs> broken backboards and he's and he's. Uh, no, I, hey, Daryl. He's even Darryl. broken stanchions. Sean before. Kemp. I would put you and Daryl Dawkins as the most. Vince popular. Carter had had a lot of power too coming down the middle. Yeah, well, Vince Carter was incredible. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, if it is indeed you, our uh, our team uh, put Shaq's strength under the microscope in the first episode of the lab. Check this out. The last time we saw a true backboard breaking dunk was in 1993 when a 21 year old Shaquille O'Neal did this. And forced the league to literally shack proof the hoops in every arena. So on this episode of the lab, we're asking, how much force does it take to be like Shaq and bring down an NBA backboard? To find out, we're going to test hoop configurations from three different eras of the NBA. The afro, the booty shorts, and the baggy shorts. Using a G-Force tracker to calculate impacts, we're going to drop different objects on each configuration to find out how much force they take to break. We started with a fixed back rim, like what Daryl Dawkins used to snap in the 70s. All right, bowling ball test three, two, one. And we were able to break that off with about 600 pounds of force. Oh my God! Which is what it feels like to get cracked in the jaw by a heavyweight boxer. Then we moved to the 80s era breakaway rim, which can bend. This extends the duration of a collision and helps it absorb force. Here we go. That one took 1,400 pounds of force to Shaq. But in 93, Shaq didn't just snap a breakaway rim. He snapped the hoop's steel frame. So to find out how much force it takes to do that, we swapped out the glass for a bulletproof polycarbonate backboard, which will hopefully allow us to break the stanchion without busting the rim. Polycarbonate backboard in three, two, one. The goal is to bring down this 90s era goal, but turns out that ain't easy. We had an entire D1 starting five hang on the rim. Go. All right, next guy, go. Next guy. Next. One more, see what happens. Come on, hold on, baby. We even dropped a 300-pound refrigerator from 20 feet up. Three, two, one. And while it looked pretty in the air, no matter how many oversized bricks we chucked up, there we go, still not broke. The stanchion wasn't budging. So to match Shaq diesel power, we brought in a diesel truck. We rigged the goal with high-tension cable and used the 2,000-pound weight as a pivot point. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. And get this. Once we got going, our heavy-duty rigging cord snapped before the hoop did. But after wiring it up again, here we go. We were able to structurally damage the goal with about 4,000 pounds of force, which for perspective, it would take the entire Lakers roster and most of their coaches sitting on the stanchion to produce the same amount of force. So how did 21-year-old Diesel actually bring down the hoop? Well, the stanchion might have been compromised in some way. But even so, at 7'1", 300 pounds, and with a 12-foot, 5-inch max reach, Shaq may be the only and last dude on the planet who could pull off something that insane. I love that kind of stuff. I really do. And, uh, uh, you all, you might, you, I, don't, I think it's fascinating. You know, that would, would be that. superhuman. Yeah.
What? I'm not sure if I can believe that. What? Believe what? That would be superhuman. That'd bro, be, you like, saw it. You don't have no, to believe no, you saw it. That would be physically impossible. The man said it was compromised. Yeah, compromised by my strength. <laughs> okay. You know, okay. Maybe there was a little a little something wrong. No, but because he did it more than once. Yeah, was it? He did it more than once. So it had to be compromised <laughs> in two cities. <laughs> no, was because it? Because he did it in Phoenix and he did it, in, well, hey, yes. New Jersey. I did it in high school. I, don't know I, did, it a, I did it at LSU. Yeah, we don't I don't yes. know that the one in Phoenix snapped. I just know no, that it's it, right I just there. I just know that it's it's submitted right here. It was no, like, it's hey, I right there in half. No, this in one back. snapped. Yeah, it snapped. This is tough. The other uh, one just gave up. You, you know, put, you know what's crazy? You could have killed people. Well, <laughs> like really? You could well, like uh, that, that's crazy. Were I you, don't know if it would have killed him. It would have knocked the hell out of him. No, hey, no killed that, him. if someone was underneath that, why don't you lose? Did I try to do that? Yes. Yeah, well, you weren't trying to do that. First of all, I'm not talking to you. Well, you weren't trying, trying to do it. it. For what okay, reason? So, okay, so Derek Coleman was the only guy that ever dunked on me in the NBA. Only been dunked on once or twice in 20 years. I take pride in that. Unlike him, he's been dunked on a million freaking times. I only find one time Derek came down with the left hand and dunked on me and did like this. So every time I played, I played against, I said to myself, you're never going to dunk on me again. And every time you're close to me, I want to dunk it so hard. I want to tear this you-know-what down. Yeah. And Dwayne Shins Shinsis, rest in peace, University of Florida, SEC thing, I was mad at him also. So to answer your question, yes, every time I dunk, that's why the dunk man emblem, I try to get my legs up because that brings more centrifugal force. Oh, thank uh, you, Dr. Ronin. Uh, yes. So that's what, what did you call what fatness. Is, what is that? What did so it I gotta feel take like? Shots. What did it feel like to do that and to hear the crowd reaction? I was trying to be like Daryl Dawkins. You know, when he did it the, the first time, and, and, you know, when I started doing it in high school, getting my legs up, I, I saw that people would be scared. You know, they would be fearful. And I just wanted people like you and Bill Rafferty and Dick Vitale to say my <laughs> name because I knew no other big guys were doing it. But I was definitely trying to, you know, tear the rim down. That was uh, amazing to see. And you were just trying to get the heck out of there, weren't you? Yeah, yes, you was. Hey, you so what you say, that, my nickname for you, you start putting that on your shirt, huh? What? Huh? You know my nickname. I call you Big. Bro, when you start getting you that, that's you're not the first person much. to call him Big. I, I, no, I, I call him. That's my nickname. Everybody calls him. No, no, they no, they yes, don't. They do. Everyone no, calls him. No, yes, they do. What are you talking about? Chuck. Oh, I, 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 Chuck the, all stop the drinking Lakers. that damn red mon vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, Dennis Vodka Scott. Yes. Oh, they would call him Big and Orlando. Big. Hey, listen. Hey, yeah, shut up, man. Yeah. I'm talking to Shaq. <laughs> <You're> talking, <laughs> hey, trying to, uh, trying hey. to make something up. All, hey, man. All hey, I know. I, is your beard ever going to come all the way down? <laughs> 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 all I know. Ernie, yeah, yeah, I love, I love yeah, that's, that's actually you Ernie. Do. That's actually Ernie right there. That was science, Ernie. He never had that hair, though. I'm actually horrible at science. I just like that science. And by the way, you know what? I'm the only person in the world who calls you Chuckster. I didn't realize that, too.